Hey guys, welcome to Oxman Garage. In today's video, I'm going to show you some CNC ported heads for the 5.0 Coyote. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Today I'm going to go over a pair of CNC ported Coyote heads. I had these professionally CNC ported by Livernois Motorsports uh, right outside Detroit. Um, I want to save you guys some money. I think this is a really good deal on CNC ported heads for the Coyote 5.0. I'm going to go over the cost, how to ship cylinder heads, uh, what to expect with their CNC service, and then lastly, how to finish the head and get it ready for getting it on your car. All right, so the first thing I'm going to go over is the cost. So I'm going to break down the invoice. So it's $875 for the service. There's a $25 hazmat fee, and then there's an $85 shipping fee, and then uh, there's taxes. Um, and also you have to ship it out to them. So for me, I'm in Wisconsin, so it was uh, $90. So for me, it was roughly around uh, $1,100 to have these uh, CNC ported uh, shipped to them and shipped back to me. All right, so next you want to ship the heads out to them. When you're shipping the heads out to them, you want to make sure that all the cam caps are off. You want a completely bare head. So no bridge cap or the cam caps have to be on it. No valves, valve springs. It has to be a completely bare head. When you're shipping this, you want to make sure that you're shipping it right. You're not just putting this in a box and throwing it out there. You want to use good packing material and you want to do it correctly. So I have a how-to video on how to ship cylinder heads and I'll put that at the end of the video. All right, so next is what to expect. So if you're gonna be buying some CNC ported heads, you wanna do some research. So if you go to Google and you type in CNC ported coyote heads and you scroll down, you'll see some other companies and you'll see Livernois Motorsports right here. And then you'll see the complete description. This is for Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 Coyote heads, $875. Gives you a complete description. This is the, it's going on a five axis CNC machine. Um, it's, and then this is the thing that you need to remember. This is the CNC only service. It does not include any other services. So you're not getting cylinder heads that look like that coming back to you they won't have valves on them they won't have the valve spring this is a cnc port service only so when you get your heads back they're gonna be they're gonna look great you know um you could you could actually mount these on your car because they'll be ready to go but for me i want to make them perfect you're gonna see a little you're gonna see some things that are not done so if you look at this cylinder head port you notice right here there's kind of a rough area where the CNC machine didn't get it and then kind of the same right there these are just tiny little things that the CNC service is gonna provide and it's up to you the customer to do the do-it-yourself you know the DIY guy to make these perfect and then just to show you a video, uh, here's an intake port. And if you see, it says the CNC machine got everywhere. And it is just a really good looking port. It's definitely going to flow better. You're going to get some more uh, horsepower with this. And then here's the exhaust port. Looks really good. All right, so here is the combustion chamber side. And as you can see, there's a few areas that the CNC machine didn't get, but you know, uh, you get what you pay for and you need to go in and finish this. So either go in with a Dremel and you're gonna lightly, lightly take off that material right there. Another thing is on these intake, the intake and exhaust ports, like right here on the intake port, there's a little bit of a burr around the edges. So you wanna get a deburring tool 
and then just clean up these sharp edges right here. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go over is how to get the cylinder heads ready to put on the car. And like I said before, if you wanted to, you could bolt these on and they'd be ready to go. But I don't, like I said, I'm a perfectionist. I wanna make sure that everything is perfect because I'm going to get the roughed areas and after I get the rough areas, I'm actually gonna polish all the intake and exhaust and con combustion chamber uh, sides. I'm gonna polish everything. So uh, I'm gonna show you really quick how to get some rough areas and make them perfect. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off some of the rough areas uh, in all of the ports. So you can see right there, there's a rough area that I wanna grind down. And what you wanna use is you can use these um, carbide burr bits. You can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. But anytime you're porting uh, cylinder heads by hand, you want to go very lightly. You don't wanna put a lot of pressure on this. It's gonna be very light pressure because all I'm doing is I'm just getting that rough area and smoothing it out. So you're coming down in here with your carbide bit and you're very, very lightly taking off that rough area. So just a little trick that you could use to protect your valve seat. So as you're grinding around on these areas to uh, get some of those rough areas out, you could use an old junk valve and use it to protect your valve seat. So now that you're gonna be grinding some of the material off around the edges, you don't wanna nick your valve seat, so the uh, valve will protect it. All right, so once you have your heads completely cleaned, you're ready for reassembly of the valves in the spring. So Here's a tool that I like to use. It's the Eurosport uh, spring compressor tool for the 5.0 Coyotes. Um, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your valves back in, you're gonna compress the spring, put your keys in, your retainers, and then you're gonna have uh, the valves ready to go. So this is all do-it-yourself um, uh, tools that you can use, and I'll put a link in the description of where you can find this tool. So just a quick little disclaimer before I end the video. This is my second pair of CNC ported heads from Livernois Motorsports. Uh, this is my 98 Mustang Cobra Coyote Swap. And I have the first set of uh, ported heads on this car. Um, I really like the port job that they had. Again, uh, this is the CNC service only. You got to finish the job. You gotta get the rough areas, you gotta put the valve and springs on. If that's something that you're not comfortable with, then that uh, you have to pay a machine shop or a head cylinder shop and have them uh, finish the job for you. But uh, Livernoy Motorsports, every time I call them, they're very professional, kind and courteous. I really like their company. Uh, they didn't pay me to do this video, so um, I'm doing this on my own. Um, but bottom line is I know a good deal when I see one. I haven't had any drivability issues. Um, everything works great. I have great throttle response. Uh, this car is tuned by um, um, Palm Beach Dyno. Haven't had any problems. Great throttle response, accelerates really good. It's uh, you know a good performing engine. Okay guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. If you wanna save some money, and uh, do the CNC service only with Livernoy Motorsports, this is the way to go. Uh, if you're a DIY guy like me and you can finish the heads yourself, more power to you. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, questions, make sure you comment below. This is Josh with Oxman Garage.